for use. And the designer, uh, Jim, that who came down here and chose this, uh, said that his great goal is to get hydrogen into hospitals. Mm -hmm. And if he's going to have hydrogen in the hospitals, you've got to have a unit that complies with hydrogen specific, with possible specifications. So yeah, that's why it's built like a tank. Stainless inside, stainless outside. It'll flap for the nurses to live their uh, afternoon tea. <laughs> and that's it. Yeah, but this is what matters, isn't it? Yeah. How much you're getting out of it. That's true. The amount of uh, milligrams per liter is, is one of the top specs that, that we're looking at for, for any hydrogen machine. Yeah. So this machine does hydrogen and oxygen. We've got Brown's gas, and that's one we're finding the most important for inhalation or infusing hydrogen and oxygen into the water. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, for me, we've been using this one at home. The interesting thing for me is that's enough output if you can actually rig up a, a Y uh, section. Two people can use it. And I was over in New Zealand recently with Bernie and Marion who have one. And they sit down watching TV and it sits between them and they're both uh, hooking up on, on it every night. Uh, Bernie's old and means in his 70s, they're both in his 70s and they love it. So yeah, very good, very strong. It, you could say it's over-engineered for ordinary people, but yeah, very, 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 very well known. Timer, uh, amount of hydrogen on off, fill switch, very simple. Mm -hmm. Very simple. All right. So the timer switch, you can set it manually or you can have the presets. Right. Um, so typically, Ian, how, how, how much should you use it a day? Well, they say with this sort of closing of H2, a half an hour in the morning, a half an hour at night, and build up. Mm -hmm. The good thing about molecular hydrogen is you can't overdose on it. So I was using this all night, mm -hmm. and I just left it going all night with a little nasal cannula here. You know, I can get used to it. Uh, it's easy. Okay. Yeah. So it's an interesting point to see this actually building up. So start off slow and then build up because yes. yourself, you've been using hydrogen for years now. Yes. So um, your body is used to taking in It is, that's a good point. But I'll tell you what, when we started using this form of hydrogen, we really noticed the difference. Mm -hmm. uh, it was tremendous. When we went over to New Zealand to see that those guys uh, were off the hydrogen for two weeks, we felt the difference. Mm -hmm. So, and Cassie just loves it. Okay, so that's the big mother. That's right? the top end for us. Probably the last uh, Bernard Marion until they're off this planet and me to off this planet will probably go forever. I would like to see this used in hospitals as much as Jim the inventor would. Mm. Okay. And um, it uses a electrolyte solution. It does. Yes. And you have to replace that is it every, yeah, every five weeks. Every five or two or weeks. I think it's 250 hours. So it's 250 hours. Yeah. Yes. Okay. And that's not hard to do. The instructions are fine. And being Australian, you can ring the guy and say, ring Jimmy and then say, what do I do next? Okay. For a while you can. <laughs> Until he gets busy. Yeah. And just one other point is, with any of these machines, we use distilled water. So the one we use is a demineralized distilled water and not the low end product, but the high end skin. Yeah, that's to determine the life of the unit. Yes. Okay, well, let's talk about the hydrogen. So the hydrogen is um, an American built machine. The first one was Australian built. It has a preset timer, 1, 5, 10, 15, 30, 20 minutes and 30 minutes. Um, it produces hydrogen and oxygen, so it's a brown gas machine. It comes with a whole lot of connections from inhalation to uh, a device that fits over sores, so then the hydrogen oxygen can be fed into any skin type of uh, Yes, they are really recommending it for any sort of pain, any, any sort of injury at all. Yes, yes. Uh, some amazing stories coming out. It is. Yeah. Um, this one uses a sachet, and that lasts roughly 12, 12 months. And it's got an additive in there to help the electrodes be self cleaning Good, good. Okay. You notice also that it has the two bubbles. Um, when, you, when you've got this sort of bellicose system, what you've got is, is uh, basically a chamber in which you have sodium hydroxide in water. Right? What can happen as it gets hot uh, is that you'll get some vapor, and the vapor will have some of that sodium hydroxide in it. So if you, you're breathing straight off that, uh, you can have a problem, right? And you'll get, you, you might have some 
water and yet you can't see it in this one here because we haven't put the bubble on it you can see that water does come down the, down the tube and go into the water so mm. whilst that's high hydrogen water you don't want to drink it because it's got a small amount of uh, sodium hydroxide in it and then in an, another one i got that was sent to me a chinese one i actually got burnt all around the nose because it wasn't doing it properly so it's important to factor and we put a bubbler on this and the bubbler cleans the water that's come out of the electrolysis tank. So you already get the gas. Yes, yes. And you'll notice on, on the hydrogen there, not one but two bubblers. Mm -hmm. So I said, I I like the hydrogen, I think there's been a lot of thought going into it. Mm -hmm. uh, I think now it's turned off now, so we'll just turn it on again. Um, and the output is excellent. Yes, it's 400 mils per litre, first of all, and as the solution inside that heats up over five to ten minutes, um, it can get up to 800 mils per litre. So it's one of the top performing ones. And it's lightweight as well. It's not yeah. it's not as heavy as the stainless steel version, yet, yeah. but the surface is cleanable, wipeable, and it doesn't stand out as, um, as much as the other one. Yeah, yeah, good. Okay. okay. All right, let's look at this little fella. This is the Labrilla Elan, and it's made in Japan. And as you can see, I think we thought of it as the, as the apple design of inhalers. Mm -hmm. uh, and you, you unpacked it, didn't you, John? Yes, yeah. What are you, your thoughts? It's very well packaged. It's very lightweight. You, it is also portable, so you can take it with you. Uh, there is a battery pack that comes with so it. So you just slip the battery pack in. You just slip the battery pack in the back. Use it while you're going to work. Exactly. You yeah. can do that. Um, it comes with pre-mixed electrolytes that you pour in and it works slightly different. It has a membrane in between the two electrodes so it needs roughly half an hour to 45 minutes for the os osmosis um, to work inside there so both electrodes are covered with the same amount of electrolyte and then when you That's, that's when you put the electrode in? Yes, so it takes the yeah, so you don't out. use it for three quarters of an hour. Three quarters okay. of an hour. Then you switch it on and it just produces hydrogen gas. And, okay, that's um, good. It's and it's nothing like the output of the others, as you can no, see. It's, it's 30 mils per minute. Yep. Um, as you can see by the bubbler, it's just very, very small in that. Yes. But it is um, very compact. So if you've got a small apartment or if you're a smaller person, or you're moving person, around a lot, or you're moving around, I mean, you can take that in the car. You travel, yeah. Anyway. yeah, you can yeah. hop on the car, yeah. you switch it on, and drive. Yeah. The power pack does come with a USB port, so you can plug it into your power yeah, charger. And that's pretty cool. So it's only 12 volt. It's only 12 volt. Yes. Okay, yeah. good. Yeah, so that's the Labrilla Elan. Just on the electrolyte. So every time you scroll <laughs> it, or if you're going away for a weekend, they recommend emptying out the solution and putting another packet in. So every time you use it after two or three days break, then you, you refresh the solution. So if you want to save money, you keep using it. Yes, so you get more of the electrolyte. Exactly. <laughs> and you can see the solution will drop down as well. Yes. So, yeah. Okay, that's great. Right. And now we've got the TPH100 from Taiwan. Uh, and I got this one in from the country, and from, from Taiwan. And interesting enough, it's, it's not working as well as I've seen it work. Uh, and as you, you can see the bubbling there, it's pretty darn slow. In fact, it's the slowest one here. They say it does 30 mil uh, per, per litre. Mm -hmm. uh, that's not 30 mil per litre, no. so I don't know. Um, we probably won't carry this one because, frankly, the, uh, the La Villa of Land is, if we're staying around that sort of range uh, for a portable, low output one, uh, it's probably better. Mm. Uh, it's well made, it's, um, it gets a bit hot, it's the only other thing. Mm. That, that, uh, so you mentioned your usage is if you're starting from cold, you can use it for half an hour. If you're starting from warm, you use it for 15 minutes. Yes. So that's kind of the design uh, limitation. So, so, so the design is similar to the, to the Japanese version? No, that is a, uh, a proton exchange membrane. It doesn't use any, any electrolysis. You just put uh, the same sort of water in it. Still water. water. Mm -hmm. uh, and a proton exchange membrane is a relatively new concept in hydrogen production where a part of the water is, is taken out of the flow and it's put through 
a gas uh, producing no, uh, a gas permeable membrane. So that small amount of water that the membrane can do separates out the hydrogen and the oxygen. The air oxygen comes out the top here, the hydrogen comes out the bottom. So you get that. Yeah, so it, it, it's good, uh, but I have to say that the uh, op hydrogen oxygen mix systems have been around for ages and they work very well. You're getting uh, fundamentally 66% hydrogen, 33% oxygen. And given that many people also uh, walk around or have oxygen breathers at home, mm -hmm. I mean, for me, it, it's a no brainer, but why would you have just an oxygen breather when you have an oxygen and a hydrogen breather with all of the benefit, health benefits of hydrogen? Oh, both of them, yeah. Yeah, it makes huge sense. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. uh, what we're going to do is we're just go, going to go through these and we will show you exactly uh, uh, so that's the operation. That's the operation. Yeah, okay, yeah, we can do the operation. Okay, that's that's the operation. all right, let's do that. Do you want to do that one? Just on the, the hydrogen, um, I've been using it on the ultra stream water, yeah. and the oxygen hydrogen mix makes the water taste. So that part, that's it. so much, a little not nicer, but it's more palatable, but maybe it's the oxygen mix. So, so we should do a package for people who want to buy that, they buy the ultra stream as well. It's a magic, magic work. Magic numbers, yeah. That's yeah, great, that's great. All right, Neil, do you want to focus in on John talking about this one? 